So this is an important moment for both the African Union and the European Union, um, coming um, after a very difficult 2016, when both um, institutions um, entered a very difficult, excruciatingly painful negotiation of, over the future funding for the AU mission um, in Somalia, um, where the EU has, um, since 2007, been paying the, the troop stipends um, for, for the peacekeepers um, in Somalia. So we are, you know, in November, this crucial um, AU, EU summit. Um, as Federica Mogherini herself said, it, it's a defining moment for both organizations. Um, they have um, made a commitment um, to refine, to rethink, to reshape their relationships. Both sides want it. Um, there are frustrations coming into the summit. There are a number of tensions. Um, we can boil it down to finance being at the heart of it. Um, the AU um, wants to show that it's financially self-sufficient. The EU wants it to step up and play that role. The EU is frustrated that it's seen as a cash machine, as we say in the report. So this is an important in, um, moment to right some of the, um, the problems of last year but to recognise that both of them um, are on the same path um, in terms of, of peace and security. And when you look at um, where both continents sit, they're remarkably close to one another and they're both dependent on one another. So it's not as if both of them um, can um, exist um, exclusively without the other. Um, and I think that they both recognise the value of that, whether they can deliver um, an outcome in the summit that ad addresses the finance, but also addresses the migration issue, where the EU is concerned, will be a, a real testing moment for them. And whether they can use this summit as a moment to lay the foundations for the bigger, more politically contentious negotiations um, of the Cotonou Agreement that will be sort of renegotiated in 2020 will also be vital as well.